Dear Pixie, Why is it that when I make a decision that I know is right, and I know is right for my spiritual growth and ascension, that I repeatedly keep going back on it? And why is it I pick up information from my higher self that I know is correct, and I follow this recommendation, and yet I keep going back on it? Is this normal for ascension? How can I prevent myself taking this backward step? Can you help me to find the willpower and commitment to follow the guidance of my higher self and to remain in alignment with all that I do? The human journey is one of challenges. What you are experiencing is common amongst the humans seeking the spiritual realm. To remain always in alignment may take many lifetimes. You ascending ones on Earth in this time frame will have had many lifetimes. Still, this does not mean that you can always remain in alignment with that which you know is right for you. Do not become disheartened at what you call a backward step, for the backward step itself has a positive aspect to it and acts as a propeller to push forward the forward steps even faster. Sometimes the backward step is a necessary part of the journey. We have said before that the ascending one moves in and out of alignment as they vibrate higher and higher. Meditation, practiced regularly, will aid you in the quest to stay in alignment and on track greatly. It may be that meditation is one of the tools you have been recommended to use and you have found yourself not using this tool. Each day, as the sun rises on your earth, is a new day. Always a marker point for a new start. Resolutions, promises, plans and commitments made as you enter a new earth's year can be made each day that you rise. Whilst the moving into a new year contains the energy of alignment with new beginnings, opening doorways to new cycles and new starts, and is indeed a planetary birth moment for you, so too can the start of a new day be this for you. Time becomes one moment to he who stands within the zero point. The backward step you speak of may be likened to the stumbling made by the traveller as he climbs the mountain, and stumbling is part of that climb. The new commitments and promises made can be likened to the traveller who picks himself up after a fall and continues on with his journey with purpose in his stride. You are that traveller. The mountain is your ascension stairway, and if you hold bliss in your heart and a desire to serve others, to serve humanity, even if the desire comes and goes, you will continue onward and you will arrive at your journey's destination, knowing all the while that the destination is but another doorway. Meditation is the key to bring you into communication with us, and we who love you will never judge should you stumble, should you take that backward step. We are always here to guide you on your way. Many are not aware when they take a backward step, Many are not aware of what is right for them regarding their journey on earth. Knowing the steps to take, even if they are not always followed, is the central focus of the awakening. Knowing the pathway is there and feeling it manifest before you is a first step and only then can you begin that journey with conscious awareness. Even whilst you discover you may have journeyed far along the path before you were aware of its existence. Knowing the steps to take comes with awareness of that path before you. Your guides of higher light are with each and every one of you as you follow this journey. If you have stumbled, if you have taken that backward step, then all one needs to do is make yet another commitment, another resolution, bringing forward the energy of the birth moment of a new planetary year into any moment you choose and with determination and courage begin again to walk that path. Many who do this find riches around them during the time they moved away from the path, so whilst from one perspective it is always good to remain within alignment, following the advice of your guides and higher self, 
and standing by the knowings within your heart, following your intuition in all things. From another perspective, there are riches in the form of new understandings, insights and learning from temporarily straying from your path. There are challenges there along the way, and there are many alignments to remain within, many paths to follow as they converge into the one ascension path for you. Even whilst taking this so-called backward step, it is a rare one that moves from a service to others to a service to self perspective. Once one has truly polarized within a service to others vibration and has anchored their light within that frequency, feeling the anchoring of their multidimensional selves within that frequency, then they do not switch back to a service to self vibration. Therefore, the majority of service to others ascending beings, when taking that backward step, are still vibrating within a service to others vibration. We see that the backward step is more of an integration of one's ego, as opposed to a transcendence of it. And from this viewpoint, one can see that it is not a backward step at all. Therefore, do not see yourself as a failure, or of doing something that is a hindrance to your overall ascension journey. Remember always, there is positivity in every move when you walk the ascension path. There is no wrong path, no backward step. Each move is guided by the higher self version of yourself. Each experience drawn to you by you for the greatest good and growth of all the versions and aspects that are you and for the evolution of the aspect of you at the soul level. It may be that it will take time for you to discover why you took that perceived backward step and what was the learning to be had from it. Yet many discover the answers to this rapidly now that the energies are so accelerated. Do not try so hard to prevent the perceived backward step taking place. Allow your journey to unfold within flow and without resistance. Again, we repeat, meditation is the key. Willpower and commitment are always there for you. And if these are temporarily lost, they can be found again. Willpower is strong amongst the ascending ones. Even whilst you may not feel this to be the case, we see that many of you doubt your own strength and we see the delight and joy you shall experience when you do realize the depth of your own strength and the strength of your own honor. As you move into a new year on your planet, the year of 2010, many shall look at their reflections and see the true form of their souls. So do not berate yourself for straying from the path. He who holds ascension frequencies of love and walks within a service to others vibration will always come back to the path. The individual incarnate blueprint calls magnetically to you and the one who walks within love, truth and light shall always hear the blueprint's call. We are the white winged collective consciousness of nine.